I used to do this job with a hammer and an old chisel, but a multi-tool is much easier. In most cases, the putty just falls out. It's much better if you can get the glass out in one piece, but that's not always possible. And actually, it's quite awkward up a ladder like this. Measure up for the new glass on both sides of the window, just in case the sash is a little bit out of square. I took the measurement tight to the edges at the top and the bottom, and it was thankfully square. And then I asked the glazier to allow a millimetre on each one of those dimensions. Wooden sashes don't generally give you an awful lot to play with, so make sure you get it right. It's worth, you know, like they say, measuring twice, cutting once, or measuring three times, or whatever you do, or get somebody else to measure it. I've been using Merstham Glass for over 30 years now, and they're one of the few glazing companies that I actually trust. They've got some good guys there. The original glass in this window is only 3mm thick and I really like that old glass because it's a little bit imperfect when you put this new stuff in, it's float glass and it's perfect and it never looks quite the same but it's now a minimum of 4mm for this kind of job and if it's low level you've got to use toughened glass or laminate glass maybe you've even got to have a thicker glass so that really affects the sash weights in your window. Even changing from 3mm to 4mm does mess up the counterbalance and you have to add a little bit of lead weight or something to it. Fortunately in this case the sashes those side lights are fixed so they don't slide up and down they just look like they slide up and down so saves me a lot of trouble. Now I've cut some glass in the past but I've never really managed to do it just so easily and effortlessly as this. Mind you we'd get a lot more views if you cocked it up and of course with Merstham glass it always comes wrapped in nice brown paper so nobody knows what you're carrying. Now you should always paint the rebate and let it dry before you put the putty in because if you just put the putty in on plain timber it will suck the life out of the putty and the putty will crack. But I've lost count of how many times I've seen people putty straight into plain unpainted or unsealed wood. It just seems to me that people haven't got the time to wait for the paint to dry, but I love watching paint dry. Another thing I do is I always put the putty in first to bed the glass onto it and then putty up on the outside. And I see a lot of jobs where they just put the glass straight in against the timber. And the trouble with that is that sometimes the putty can dry out and it can rattle slightly. But the other trouble is that you get condensation sometimes on the inside of the window and that's going to run down the glass into that tiny gap and rot the wood. So even though it's a little bit more effort, put the putty in first and then you have to push the glass really firmly against that putty so you squeeze most of it out and just look on the inside to make sure that it's in there evenly and you haven't got it slightly thicker on one side than the other. Now I use a small pin hammer to tap the sprigs in because anything else quite frankly is risking cracking the glass but another thing you can do is you can tap it in with a little glazing knife. I've got one of those lying around somewhere but I can never find it when I need it. The putty should cover the inner timber line. So when you look from the outside, you don't see any of that rebate showing. Now, it shouldn't be above it because if you look from the inside out, you'll see a ragged putty line. So it's a question of just getting it right. You can get it right and it's really one of those jobs that's easier to do on a bench. But it doesn't really matter if you have to add a bit or cut a bit away. Just keep going until you get a nice smooth line on it. And it really does help to have a spotlessly clean putty knife. I'm using a chrome plated one here but if you use a straight one a lot of people just prefer using a straight filling knife but make sure there's no filler on it there's no dirt on it really polish it up and then you get a nice smooth line on the putty and I finish off with a straight filling knife just to flick off the excess and make a nice straight line once the glass is putted in, you've got to leave it for a couple of weeks before you paint it. Don't try painting onto fresh putty because the paint will fall off. And if you leave it too long, the putty will crack. So a couple of weeks is about right. And that's it. That's the job done. When I'm cleaning windows. <laughs> We have almost 1,000 videos on Skill Builder now, so follow the link in the description and check out our huge library. Don't forget to subscribe.